Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verses 16 through 21, where it is written, When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him, and then began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, Jesus reads a scripture about himself and rightly says, Today the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Good news to the poor. Release of captives, sight going to the blind, oppressed going free. The people, the bottom round of society, the people who have nothing, are the ones that benefit most from Jesus Christ's arrival in the world. Which tells us that's what Jesus cares about. And since we're supposed to be imitators of Jesus, who should we be caring about? And if there's, you know, a real frustration I have within the Christian faith, it's that we treat faith like it's you're studying uh, for this final exam, and on the last day, it's like, okay, uh, please regurgitate back to me the correct rote thing response, and all's good. Everything else is just, eh, whatever. That's not what Jesus is about. He prophesied about himself, the Spirit of the Lord is on me. Jesus Christ spoke. The Spirit of the Lord. It's not just... Okay, blah, 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 right, right religious answer, thank you, goodbye. Jesus Christ came to save the world. Not by saying, okay, regurgitate this doctrine, you'll be a-okay. He came to save this world by dying for its sins, to forgive its sins. He came to rise again from the dead, to impart his divine nature, that spirit of the Lord, to this creation, to restore it to its rightful place. This is done by grace through faith. Faith working through love, it's not something we earn. Nor is it something we just think about, the right thing about, and it's A-OK. -okay. It is faith that saves us, absolutely. Faith working through love. Again, it's not studying for this uh, final exam and giving the right rote response. And that's that. And so we see, you know, this is Maundy Thursday, the day where our Lord had the Last Supper. He knows he's just sat down to that holiday dinner, He'd be dead within 24 hours. And a little bit after that, he'd be alive again. And the world will have been saved. And it wasn't going to be saved by, oh, just say X, Y, and Z. You're all set. In fact, read through the entire Bible. Do you think, is there anything in all Scripture that makes you think it's just saying the right sentence? No. Jesus Christ saves the world. Doesn't give up rote sentences. And he saves us by grace through faith. Faith that works through love. That's the spirit of the Lord that he's given us. Let us follow that spirit onto the life that is eternal. Let us close with prayer. Lord, continue to give us of your Holy Spirit to guide us unto you always and to guide us in this world. Amen.